I'm Thomas Tedder from Old Faithful Holsters. We help gun owners conceal their weapons comfortably and easily. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to wear and use an inside the waistband hip holster. I'd like to start off by thanking Mr. Masad Ayub, who was generous enough to share some of his knowledge on the subject with me. You can learn a lot at his website at masadayubgroup.com. Now I'd like to point out that my pistol is unloaded, there's no magazine, and the chamber is empty. When you practice, you should take the same precautions. Now, also, I'd like to note that there is no one behind the camera. So first, we need to understand exactly what an inside the waistband hip holster is. It's called an inside the waistband or IWB holster because it stows between your pants and your body. So the gun is inside the waistband. One thing to note right off the bat is that the width of the gun will take, some of, will take up some of the room in your pants. If you wear really tight pants, this option may not be right for you. And many people choose to buy pants that are one size larger than what they normally wear, but most actually don't find this to be necessary. If you want to know if an IWB holster is right for you before you spend your money on one, a good test is to unload your gun and stick it in your waistband. If it fits easily, you should be okay. If your pants are too tight though, you probably need to buy some bigger ones or even consider an outside the waistband holster, which is an OWB. Now, this holster is typically worn between 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock. If you picture a clock around your body with 12 o'clock at your navel, you can picture where these positions are. 3 o'clock is on the side, 9 o'clock over here, and 5 o'clock is just directly over your back pocket. So the exact position you'll wear your holster is actually going to depend upon the individual body type and your personal preferences. So just play around with it and see where you prefer to wear it. Now, whether or not your shirt is tucked in, it won't make much of a difference with this technique, but you should practice the same way that you normally carry. So if you're normally tucked in, you should tuck your shirt in when you practice this. So I'm going to explain how to do this for a right-handed person, but a lefty is going to be the same. Just use the opposite arms. Now, the first thing you need to do when drawing your weapon is to find it. Now, it sounds like common sense, but you really do need to practice finding your gun and getting a good firm grip on it. When you're in a crisis situation, you'll have to rely on muscle memory and instinct rather than high-level thought processes. So you want to start off by bringing both hands back simultaneously to where your holster is. The right hand needs to come straight back. Now, Masada Ayub tells me that the biggest mistake he sees is the elbow way out here like a chicken wing. Just make sure that you keep your elbow tucked in here <coughs> close to the body. Now, with your left hand, reach far around and grab as close to your holster as you can. Get a big, firm handful of your shirt and really yank it loose and out of the way. It won't matter much if your shirt's tucked in or not. It's the same. So just pull hard and fast. And you want to make sure that your shirt's completely out of the way before you reach for your gun. Now, <clears throat> that your shirt's out of the way, your next step is to find the gun. At this point, your hand should be directly over the pistol. So get a good, firm grip on it. Leave the trigger finger off the trigger, and you need to have your firing grip before you leave the holster. So pull the holster straight up. Your holster may be angled forward, but when you pull straight up, the gun's going to come forward some. You probably can't even actually lift straight up from the 5 o'clock position, but just picture in your head bringing it straight up as you draw your weapon, and you'll be fine. So you'll want to you'll twist your gun forward now when you come out. And you can actually fire from this position if you need to. It's also best to angle the top of the pistol away from you at about 30 to 45 degrees. And this helps to make sure the slide doesn't hit you when it's cycling. And it also keeps the empty brass flying away from your face. Now, let go of your shirt with your left hand here and bring it over and meet your right hand. Now bring it forward into your shooting position. You may have already figured this out, but you can actually start firing from the hip and you can keep firing all the way through this maneuver. Now, you want to make sure to practice this over and over until you can do it without even thinking about it. When you're swimming in a pool of adrenaline, you don't want to have to think your way through this. You just want to be able to react. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and comment.